your father do for a living, Mr. Lau? My father is in jail, sir. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. But that doesn't have to be your life. My point's this. I have four seniors on this team. Junior, Lyle, Kenya, and Warren. All of whom I think can play basketball at the college level. College. That's a viable option for all of you. But you have to perform in the classroom to have that chance. You have to have a vision. If you want to be successful, you have to have a vision for the life that you want. This might sound like common sense because it is, but the unfortunate truth is this is not common practice. So many people are wandering through life blindly, day to day with no drive or direction, paycheck to paycheck with no passion or purpose because they have no vision for where they want to be. They allow their problems to blind them from their possibilities and then they resign themselves to a life of limitation. But not Helen Keller. Helen Keller is known around the world as a symbol of hope in the face of overwhelming obstacles because despite being blind and deaf, she lived a remarkable life of tremendous vision. Helen Keller was born on June 27, 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama. She was a relatively healthy baby, but when she was just 19 months old, she was stricken with what was likely scarlet fever or meningitis and tragically lost her hearing and sight. As a result, young Helen had considerable difficulty functioning. She couldn't see, she couldn't hear, and she couldn't speak, so she often burst into fits of rage because she couldn't communicate. Friends and relatives urged her parents to put her in an institution, but they refused to give up on her. The breakthrough came when Helen was six years old. After consulting with a number of specialists, the Kellers contacted the Perkins Institute for the Blind in Boston and hired a young teacher named Ann Sullivan, who became Helen's lifelong teacher, friend, and companion. Miss Sullivan taught Helen to communicate using a tactile form of sign language. Through Miss Sullivan's brilliant instruction, Helen learned to read, write, and communicate. Her curiosity, imagination, and ability to reason soared. She excelled academically and became the first blind deaf person to graduate with a bachelor's degree from Radcliffe College in 1904. Helen Keller went on to become a world famous author, lecturer, humanitarian, and social and political activist. She published 12 books and numerous professional articles, co-founded Helen Keller International and the American Civil Liberties Union, and was a leading member of the American Federation for the Blind. Helen Keller traveled to 35 countries and received numerous awards from various world leaders for her work, including the National Order of the Southern Cross from Brazil, the Legion of Honor from France, the Order of the Golden Heart from the Philippines, the Sacred Treasure from Japan, the Gold Medal of Merit from Lebanon, and the Presidential Medal of Freedom from the United States. Clearly, she didn't allow anything to stop her from pursuing her dreams. In fact, she was once asked what it was like being blind and her response was profound. She said, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight, but no vision. The reason this is such a powerful statement is that all of us at some point have a vision for what we want. But life has a way of distorting or even destroying our vision. Disappointment, depression, divorce, betrayal, bankruptcy, bereavement, anxiety, abuse, abandonment, failure, fear, or frustration. Any one of these can distort our vision and all of us will experience them at some point in our lives. But whatever problems you face, never lose sight of your vision. If anybody had problems, Helen Keller did. If anybody faced overwhelming obstacles, Helen Keller did. If anybody had reason to give up, Helen Keller did. But she didn't. Despite the tremendous adversity she faced, she never allowed her blindness to limit her vision. She said, if I, deaf-blind, find life rich and interesting, how much more can you gain by the use of your five senses? She also said, your success and happiness lies in you. Resolve to keep happy, and your joy in you shall form an invincible host against difficulties. We can all achieve greatness by following Helen Keller's example. Don't let your problems blind you from your possibilities. Live your life with vision and make your dreams come true.